So the worst of this uh, tropical storm, Hurricane Ada, is about to come on land. We're pretty close to land, uh, as close as it's going to get to us. So the eye of the storm is uh, just off the coast of Sarasota by like, I think they said it around 45 to 55 miles off the coast, roughly, maybe a little bit farther. But the worst of it is apparently coming on now, according to radar, we got a big, big red uh, band coming in, so I'm, I'm going to head down to the water right here and uh, just see how it looks. Pretend I'm a little Jim Cantor for a minute. down at the boat ramp here we got this nice dock access living where we live so just want to come down and check out the water and everything this is a pretty weak storm so not really expecting a whole lot but I've already had a few people ask me that live up north you know how how's the weather and all that stuff so this is it Flags whipping. That's a really lightweight flag, so don't let it fool you. But it is, it is getting pretty windy out here. All right, so I've been down here for a half an hour now, and uh, now it's, it's, it's worse. So it's getting worse. It's feeling like an actual tropical storm now, not just an afternoon thunderstorm. battery's about to die on this camera yeah it's gone so uh, I guess that's all I got right now so I had to get off the dock because uh, the wind the rain's blowing sideways and I was just getting soaked even though I was underneath the cover so and fuel and stuff like that so I'm gonna drive around and see if I see any damage let's roll <clears throat> got some kids rolling around People out walking around everywhere. Just another day in the FLA. <laughs> A bunch of dead fish washed up. No dumping of rubbish, that's what the sign says, it's complete rubbish. Here we are, front lines. It's really not that bad though. Like, I don't think it's anchored down real well. No thunder or lightning in this storm so far. Yep. Time to get home and hunker down. It's really blasting us now, so... Uh, get home and watch out the bedroom window, I think. We're just drinking some wine on the front porch, having a little hurricane party. <laughs> Woo! That feels good. It feels good. Not really. Not really. We're getting like some 60 mile an hour gusts. 
Damn! Woo! Hunker down. Damn! Holy shit! Alright, I gotta go in. That might be a tornado. What time is it? 8.15. Flood warning till 10 p.m. Pulls about a half an inch from overflowing, so there's that. <laughs> the whole street's flooded. My neighbor Dave walked down here and we saw him from a distance. He was knee deep down about a 50 yards ahead of me right here, so I'm getting towards the top of my boots right now, so I, I gotta be real careful. Filming this with my phone. Here you go. Yeah. There's, Look at this there's probably fish. There might be fish. There's probably fish swimming around. This is mostly salt water. This is the worst storm I've seen in Florida since I've been here, and I've been through a couple of hurricanes. This is the worst flooding I've seen. This is all road. This is all normally just road. There's some grass right here, a little grass island, triangular shape. This is usually all road, but it's about 16 inches underwater right now. Yeah, so this is this is the middle of our road right now. All right, so this is a good test. This is a very small tropical storm. It's backing a lot bigger punch than I thought it would, but if this is not even a Cat 1 hurricane and we got flooding like this right at our house, then I need to start reevaluating my plans for anything that's a, a Cat 2 or higher because this would be a whole different story. So all the water out front is gone, which is great, but our pool is literally right at the edge. So we finally got the infinity pool that we've always wanted, I guess. All right, so I'm out here the next morning after the storm, and all of our water is gone, like I thought it would be. I mean, it's hard to believe that this was all underwater just six hours ago. We had we had water past that brick right there. We had it about 12 feet up. All this was under these trees were completely underwater. This whole road for like half a mile that way was underwater. All this, and now it's almost bone dry. That's storm surge. So you can see their driveway where all this debris is, that's where the water was. It was all the way up to that pine tree right there in the middle of their yard. Hey, was high last yeah. Yeah. And and a and a truck drove by pretty quick and pushed water all the way to my front door. Oh my god. It was it was knee deep right over here.
Yeah, yeah. It was all storm surge. Storm surge, yeah, but you see how high it went darker on the Yeah. So all across there, yeah. It's pretty amazing. I know, it is. Is that, it? is that the worst you've seen it? Oh yeah. We're driving around the morning after the storm to try to find some damage and there's really not much at all except for this guy. That'll be fun to remove. <laughs> A couple little things, little branches, some debris in the streets, but that's really it. It really wasn't a wind event, it was more of a storm surge event. It didn't even really hear rain as much as I thought it would. Try to find some more. I guess that's it. We couldn't find any damage besides two two trees knocked over and that's it. A couple fence panels, but that's it. So we lucked out. So anyways, thanks for watching my video. Hope it wasn't too boring. Just give you a little view of what a tropical storm looks like. That's it. See ya.